Kirk to Enterprise. Perhaps they've gone back through the tear. Uh, Captain, you might want to take a look. What the hell is that? It appears that the Enterprise has been compromised. There's no way I can get us through that, sir. Maybe you can't, but I can. You are not considering. No, we are not considering. We'll signal when it's safe to come over. I see. Ready? Indeed. Let's go get our damn ship back. Additional practice on your landing techniques, Captain. What are you complaining about, Spock? We got in, didn't we? Now let's get her back. Agreed. Sulu, we're on board. Good to hear it, sir. Any chance of beaming us over there with you? Yeah, and the sooner the better. I don't think I can take any more of Sulu's fencing stories. Personal log. Ensign. Powerful Chekhov. I should have sent a message home at the last Starbase rendezvous. No doubt mother and father are worried about me. It was bad enough that their only child ran off to Starfleet at a young age. But what would I tell them? Привет, мама and papa. All is well here at the far edge of space. There's a crisis on the new Vulcan colony, and we've encountered a dangerous unknown species that might kill us all. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Uh, maybe it's better that I don't call home more often. I've got something here. Personal look, and St. Pavel Chekhov. I still get the looks in the corridors sometimes. I can tell much of the crew is wondering why someone so young isn't back at the academy earning his stripes. I still hear mention of the kid, and I know who they are talking about. All I can do is what I have done my whole life. Prove them wrong. The captain's face in me gives me hope. I will do everything I can to continue to earn his trust. Captain, if we access that terminal, we may be able to beam them over. Activate that console! Gentlemen, stand by for transport. Mr. Sulu, once you are on board, head immediately to the officer's quarters. It would be advantageous to our mission if you could discover a way to disable the Gorn's tethers. Understood. Bones, get to Medbay. We may need your help with the infected. On it. Energize. Scotty, if you can hear me, please respond. We must consider the possibility that Mr. Scott is infected. Or... worse. Captain, I'm here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty. Back at you, sir. What's the status of my ship? She's in pretty bad shape, sir. Those greedies have the bridge, the warp core is down, emergency life support is holding, but I don't know for how long. Captain, if we are ever to return through the rip, it is essential that we get the warp core back online. It's at the top of my list, Spock. Mr. Scott, we're on our way to warp core. Lieutenant E. 
Kato Sulu. I don't trust Commodore Daniels. His reputation precedes him. Cadets at the Academy dreaded being assigned to his command. We all heard about him running his ships and star bases like his own personal fiefdoms. It's the old story about the officer that spends just a little too much time off-world. Combine the loneliness of space with the loneliness of command and bad things are bound to happen. I just hope Daniels hasn't gone completely off the deep end. Oh, this is interesting.